Hey Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. Today we're coming to you from the San Juans. I'm with my friend Courtney. Um, she's been after me to get her some crab today, so that's what we're here to do. Hopefully uh, we find some big crabs. You know, it's been about five years since I've crabbed this spot, but in the past we've got some big ones. So we're gonna get the pot set up and we'll get to it. All right guys, so we got the chew bag. We got some chopped up pieces of shad. We're gonna just load those up. Yep, we're gonna put the salmon in there. Hopefully it's gonna all fit. We're gonna mash it in the, the bait container. Oh, I think it fell apart. Oh well, that's okay. We're just gonna use this chew bag as a... Yeah, it did. Look at that, it fell apart. We can, we can fix it, but we're just using it as a little bit of armor. So those crab have to work. Then we're gonna stuff it inside the uh, pot here. All right, this first one, we're gonna try 100 feet and see what happens. So I'll put it over here. You guys can watch her go in. All right, pot number two. Here it goes. Oh, it's not going to care, but... Guys, I think these red rocks are going back. Looking at that, that one's maybe right at five inches, but we're not gonna take any chances. Just let them go get a bigger one. All little guys, don't. All right, guys, here we go. Is it close? <laughs> Hopefully it's All right, guys, so while our crab pots are soaking, we are fishing for kelp greenling one of the species that you can actually keep right now in uh, Puget Sound this time of year and so we're using uh, one ounce jigs inshore and uh, we uh, had a problem with a full SD card so we didn't get the uh, the fish on camera but we did bag one kelp green leaf that's a good one and uh, hopefully we'll be catching some more here shortly nice all right Courtney's got one. Sorry, Court. Okay. I was just double checking. Oh, that's a, that's a rockfish. Uh oh. No, he's good. He's good. Oh, she caught a rockfish. Oh, you fell off. Oh. Ooh, she's got one. <laughs> oh, look, he's so cute. Oh, that's a kelp green. Oh, she's so cute. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Yeah, Yay. another kelp green. Courtney's first cup, Greenland. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Sorry, I'm just excited. Damn, look at that. Look at my baby. Yeah. Oh, Courtney got her first kelp, Greenland. Woo! We got it done. All right. See that on the point there. But we got the uh, tiny baby seals here on the rock sunning themselves. There's one right there by the seagull. And uh, pretty cool. Wildlife, San Juan's Puget Sound. The smell though is something else. A lot, of, a lot of animal waste on that rock. And when you catch a whiff of it, oh yeah. But anyway, pretty cool. Really? I caught one of these once. Alright guys, so 
just so you know, caps don't have to be minimum of 18 inches. This one measures right about 20 inches. So, pretty sweet. All right, guys, well, we uh, finished up fishing. We got the one cabs on and we got two kelp greenling. And now we're gonna check our crab pots. We've been letting soak for a few hours. And a sea cucumber. And Courtney sea cucumber, not to be <laughs> forgotten. Sorry, Courtney. And uh, yeah, hopefully we have some crab in these pots. This is a brand new spot for us to try here in area seven. We'll see how we do. All right. And here we go, is it heavy, Courtney? So heavy. All right. Well, it is a heavy pot, though. No, nope, it's full it's of crab. Full of crab too. Oh, here comes the first one. Where is this perfect right now? Oh my goodness! Here, don't let it go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh, there's one biggie. It's a male. Look at that. Right, we will check them. We got escape artists. Small one. Alright. Let's see this one. Nice and hard. Yeah, it's gonna make it. Survey says made it. Dungeon is crib in the box. Is it I don't think any of these other ones are gonna make it. Little male, nope. Okay, and how can you tell? Male so the female, female has the wide like abdomen there. This yep. is a female, right? Yep. Female. Female. I'm gonna check in. Red rock. Ow! Oh yeah, don't. They have claws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Pot number two is a long soak. First one, we got a few red rock crab. Want to keep the dungeon in. This one is going to have more. Why? I don't know, but I just have a feeling. It feels heavy to me. It even so heavy that it slipped up. Up here. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Yeah, okay, guys, looks like we may have one more keeper. Right, you can see that. Number three. Boom. Oh, oh, there's another keeper. <laughs> hey guys, so I had a little camera footage uh, on the San Juan trip with Courtney. Uh, lost my uh, exit uh, outro, so here we are. Just want to let you guys know we ended up with a handful of uh, Dungeness crab as well as red rock crab, and we caught a few nice fish. We had uh, two kelp greenling and that cabazon. Had a great day on the water. Um, we are going to make this into a two part video though. Uh, at the end of the day, we rebated those pots for, uh, an overnight soak. And then part two, I'm going to be taking my parents out crabbing. It's a banger guys. Overnight soak was a success. So you'll just have to wait and see part two. I'm also going to turn that one into a catch and cook, uh, 
one of my uh, favorite cooking YouTubers, Maple Cook. He inspired me. He's uh, doing a video right now out in Japan doing the uh, Japanese pot stickers. I think they call them gozas. So I'm going to try to make, uh, you know, a catch and cook in this part two video uh, doing gozas with uh, Dungeness crab or maybe red rock crab. You'll have to wait and see. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Also, check out Maple Cook's video if you guys like cooking videos. He's hilarious. His edits are awesome. And uh, yeah, guys, appreciate you watching. And as always, tight line.